says she knew from a young age she wanted to make a difference. When I was five years old, I told my mom that I wanted to change the world and I wanted to help people. And she was like, okay, but we need to go to bed first. When we talked to her mom back in 2012, she knew Victoria was just getting started. I think she's going to start impacting the world on a, a much bigger level. I mean, I, I see it happening already. And Victoria had her own message for those who ever doubted her. Now I want them to know I'm clearly not sick, I'm strong, and I'm taking, I'm conquering the world. <laughs> now, after a lot of hard work, the world is watching. We will, we will rock you. Thanks to her job at ESPN and her time on Dancing with the Stars, she's in a place where at the age of 23, she can really start to make a difference in the lives of those who need it the most. To be able to give people the wings to fly and, and achieve their own victories has, has been a dream of mine. And, and now that dream, you know, has, has come true. And, and um, I'm really, I, I, I get lot, a little lost for words because um, it just means a lot to me to be able to, you know, pass on the blessing, pass on all that I've been giving to other people too. She recently launched Victoria's Victory Foundation. And a fellow Granite Stater and friend, Tom Bergeron, helped her kick things off with a gala complete with a red carpet, Hollywood style. When we, we first met, uh, the night before we announced the cast on Good Morning America, she was the one I wanted to meet most because I was absolutely astounded by the story of what she had been through. Victoria says the feeling was mutual. When we were in New York, we get there and, and I meet Tom. And he was the only one I was like starstruck. I met so many people the last like three months, but it was like Tom Burton. And I was like, oh, like you're the man. Like you're awesome. And, and you've been in my living room quite a bit, you know, with America's Funny. So in my hospital room as well. And um, so, but we kind of, I knew he was from New Hampshire and, and I think he had known as well. So we were kind of like the two New Hampshire, you know, East Coasters on the West Coast. Uh, so we have to like stick together. That East Coast bond even included a personal delivery of apple cider donuts during filming. As you know, I got her some apple crisp donuts when I came back to the film festival. did. They have the photo. Oh, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> left, them in, yes. left them in your trailer before yep. you showed up for work. And it was after Disney Week that I crushed them. Like, I was yeah. like, I've got a week before I have to wear anything else. So <laughs> <it's> like... <laughs> Although not able to pick favorites, Tom says he was really rooting for Victoria and was sad to see her go when Team Viva's reign ended on the show. To get to the point where you were, which is the semifinals, yes, that's it's always tough. It's I mean, it, tough. because you're then you're talking about not only the cream of the crop, but you can see the finish line. Yes, and and to, it, so that was hard. Was Tom even helped to wish Victoria a very happy birthday. She celebrated 23 on set. Her only birthday wish to have her nephew visit for some snuggles. That was the greatest. The greatest birthday gift ever uh, on top of on top of then celebrating you know dance with the stars surprised me with a cake and a tiara and taylor swift sent me flowers and i'm like what is going on like this is the craziest birthday i've ever witnessed in my entire life and the magic of her first dance is something anyone watching will remember as something truly special and then i look down and i'm like i'm in pink fringy pants I'm about to go dance and nobody knows like what to expect and, and the music started and we went for it and, and um, it was after that where he's like hugging me and my, I could see my parents, they're crying, like we're all crying and uh, it was just like one of those moments where I was like, I'm really glad I lived, like I'm really glad and, and I ran over to my parents after the fact and just said to them, I was like, thank you for not giving up on me. The Hollywood host says that he sees big things in this young star's future. I, I think the sky's the limit. I can't wait to read her book when it's out in August. I can't wait to see what happens with this incredible uh, foundation that's being launched tonight. Uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, you know, when I'm in the old host's home, I'm watching her host television show. <laughs> with the launch of Victoria's Victory Foundation, this success story plans to help others find their wings, to be the ones that don't give up no matter what. And I'm so fortunate to be in that position where now I can give back and I can pay it forward because me getting to where I am was not by accident, was not by myself. It was a collection of people and, and opportunities that really gave me the wings to fly. This past year has been amazing and I'd be, I'd be super, super not cool if I didn't, you know, bestow the blessings that I've received onto others. And so tonight is kind of that, 
that startup to say, let's let's change the world, let's help people. A new foundation, a book coming out, working at ESPN, and some super secret projects in the works. Not a minute goes by that Victoria doesn't remember how far she's come. I've never been promised that I'm in the clear and that, you know, I, I won't lose what I've, what I've gained, but I, I have just this unshakable faith that you can't, and, and that faith kind of out shines the fear aspect of it. And so, you know, I'm here, I'm alive, and I'm on my feet, and every moment that I am, I don't take that for granted. And the state she calls home? My team, like, knows that if it's summertime and it's the weekend, I'm probably on, on in my donut floaty on Lake Winnipesaukee because I need that. I need my donut. Everyone needs a donut floaty, okay? You need a donut floaty. Um, but that's my happy place.